friends, my voice is still gone. I have a huge project today. The beginning of my project is literally just searching things on Amazon and like trying to avoid my project by spending money. So this is the project. It doesn't look like much. This is my bathroom. We have 12 drawers. I need to declutter them. And then these cabinets, let me show you. It's a mess. Don't ask me why I have so much toilet paper. It's just, there's a lot going on in most of it. My issue is my nail stuff. This is all like gel polishes and my gel kit. And then over here, my bath tray and like everything that didn't fit in the drawers. And then as far as these drawers go, they're like halfway organized. But what I wanna do today is just do a better job with all of that. And also maybe I'll consider some design elements. I still haven't put a picture in that frame. Are you kidding? It's kind of embarrassing. So yeah, I don't like clutter. I want everything to have a spot and I want everything to look nice. And if it looks nice, then I feel good about it. The goal today is just to make everything look nice, even though you can't see it. We're gonna make it all look nice inside the drawers too. Determine what I need. I think I want to get a storage thing for under here, you know, with the like, two shelves. And then I need a few more of the drawer organizing containers and the nail kit. So I'm gonna like sit on Amazon now. <laughs> the problem with finding storage stuff like this is that it kind of all looks cheap. Like I've ordered them before and I wasn't super happy with what I got. So I feel like I'm scrolling through pages and pages and I don't want any of it. Maybe this will be the one. The trays are 15 inches by eight inches. That's not that big. Whatever, it's fine. Just emptied my tanning drawer. It looks like this. So I guess we're cleaning. I didn't even think about the cleaning part of this. Dang, this is gonna be a very long project. Should I stop now before I've even started? But also it needs to get done, so might as well just do it. I actually love a good project like this where I can just listen to podcasts and chill out. This is covered in the tan. Best spray tan ever. I feel like this has like a green in it for olive skin. This, I don't know why I'm even keeping this much of this one. This was orange. And I'm the type of person where I'm like, if I spend $50 on this, I'm just gonna use the whole thing. I don't care if it's a little orange. Um, put this much. I'm gonna toss this. Declutter. The text message. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ignore. Why do I have two mitts? This one's better. More volley body. This is a shimmer oil. It's not an SPF or a tanning oil. It's just a shimmer oil if you want to look good. And then this one is SPF 15 tanning oil. I love this brand. Volley body, sponsor me. <laughs> Some of the stuff in this drawer doesn't make any sense at all. Um, what else like makes sense to be in this drawer? Maybe like lotions, creams, and then body sprays kind of thing. I have made some progress with this first row of drawers. On the bottom, this is like my feminine drawer. We have like the liners, tampons, feminine wipes, and I always keep the toilet paper right here because it's like the closest place, you know? This one, I'm honestly not really sure what to do with this yet. All of this is travel products. This summer Friday's mask, I'm literally using it till the last bit. Also, the Laneige lip mask that we all use, it's great, but have you tried their lotion? Because I got this travel size, I'm kind of obsessed with it. And then this is toothbrush, toothpaste. These are my retainer cleaners. I put one in every morning. It's that right there. Lip mask, deodorant, and then I just filled these with hair clips so that it doesn't like move around too much. That's how much progress I've made. I unloaded all these hair products. I don't know why I started that. I also stole the organizer from my skincare, so now I'm like, I need to order more organizers. I've always been told I have a gift of organization. Fun fact about me, when I was young, our house burned down and it like 
scarred me. I had my new Victoria's Secret pants that said pink on the butt, all these brand new Abercrombie sweaters, and then they were gone. And so I like don't get attached to things. If anything, I'm like, I want to hate that product so that I don't get attached to it because you never know when things can just be gone. Cause like, here's what happens when I like a product. I literally need them all. So if I can prevent it, I just try not to get too attached to things. That being said though, how did I acquire so much stuff? This foundation, this is the old packaging and this is the new packaging. This is the best foundation ever. I also just got the concealer. Thank you so much, Lancome. I literally am obsessed with you. I'm wearing it today. I'm not wearing any face makeup, but I am wearing the concealer. That's the only makeup I'm wearing. So this is how it looks. This was my old one. I truly love this. Um, I just am loving something else better right now. Laura Mercier setting powder is an always. I will never get rid of it. OG, truly my favorite makeup ever. Rare Beauty Blush. I'm going to give this away. Moving on. This mascara from Lancome with the white stuff that you put on first is literally the best ever. I'm gonna take these out of the packaging, I just haven't yet. Anastasia Brow Freeze, I recently said this on TikTok, but I think there's probably better out there. Lipsticks, eyeshadow palettes, and then these are all lip glosses because I'm a huge lip gloss fan. This is my favorite though. If you know, you know. And if you know, let me know in the comments. And then I also, I made my mom a PR package. Lancome always sends stuff in this box and I filled it up with a bunch of stuff that I think she's gonna like It's a few skincare products and then a makeup primer and some makeup as well. Let me know when you get that mom I just made lunch and then I made so much progress on this. It's unreal. This was a junk drawer I think I'm gonna use it for like content creation stuff Maybe and then this I literally had my fitness stuff my ankle weights resistant bands in this big drawer so I made it my these are all clients that I like occasionally film for. So I moved that all in there and I was able to get it out of here. So now I'm still gonna order the shelving. This bath tray will have to go in the one that I don't put the storage things in. I'm gonna put all my candles, lint rollers, bath stuff, and cleaning products in one of those things. If you look at this, there's so much storage up there. I just can't wait to use that and like just have this cleaner. Do you wanna stay in there? I'm gonna use this drawer as like all of my content creation stuff. MagSafe case with the charger in here. It's a weird thing to start with, but trust the process. This is a light. It's like the Alex Earl light, but honestly it really sucks. This is the good one. Let me show you. This is the brightness on the top. I'll bring it all the way dim just for the example. So this is just all the way yellow and it has like a white, kind of bluish white. This is what it looks like on my face camera case which has batteries and SD cards in it. This contraption. This is a phone lock box. You put your phone in and then you set the timer and it locks your phone in there. But it also has holes like if you need to use it for emergency. It says lock my phone, lock my dream. That's okay. This is literally the world's greatest. Let me just show you. Usually I don't hold my phone. As I've been filming this video, I've been using this thing the whole time. This is a Bluetooth remote if you want to put your phone on this and take pictures of yourself. My camera screws onto this and that's why I don't have anything on there right now. But this is the phone piece and then it tightens onto your phone. You can go flat like if you're doing like food. And then if you open these up, which is hard for me because I have really long nails, you put it all the way wide and it goes up so high. I'm 5'10". It goes up 6 feet. So... All of this is in my Amazon too. Everyone always asks. This is a suction. It suctions to the mirror. Same thing. My camera goes on there or my phone goes on here. I accidentally ordered one that you put on like, you could put this on the side of a semi. In the photos advertising it, it was like security cameras on the side of a house. You open it up, you press it onto the mirror and then you clamp it shut and it's, it's like so heavy duty. I'm debating returning it and getting a different one. And then I have these microphones. Codely sent me two mics. This goes into your phone. It just is a mic. Oh, that's so fun. I just filled up a whole drawer with all that stuff. I found all these extra toothbrushes and brush heads. I think it was a glitch. They sent me eight of everything. These are all the products I'm gonna go through right now. And I have to decide what am I gonna keep and what am I gonna get rid of. 
let's do it. Starting with this, this is for sure, I'm getting rid of this. I have this, which has heat protectant in it, and this is the best thing ever. So this one, gone. When I slick back my hair, I use this with a comb and it's great, so I'm keeping that. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. We're gonna get rid of that obviously keep that living proof dry shampoo this is the best smelling stuff in the whole entire world color wow speed dry literally your hair will dry in two seconds i have a two pack of this salt spray air dry foam yes dream coat slay this is whatever this is my only hairspray so also my hairstylist gave me this it's pretty good i'm on day four hair right now and this is what i'm wearing how does it look wait there's more this is a no we don't use this no i think this is just water this flash moment, it's for flyaways. Looks like a mascara, but it's a gel. It's not a good product, like white stuff floating around in there. And lastly, this oil, I'll keep it for winter, but like, I don't really use hair oil. I still don't know what it looks like. That's not real. Is that real? It's so skinny. Look at this. That skinny. Oh, hello. I am going to... It's magnetic, too. I'm going to film the best hair tutorial on this. I'm going to do it on TikTok, but if you want to see it on here, let me know. So, the middle drawers. We have hot tools, uh, brushes, hair ties, bobby pins, headbands, hair clips. And these are the hair products. This is what I'm gonna use. Look, we can literally see ourselves. Hello. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna use when I use that blow dryer. And then skincare chaos. After all that cleaning, I did get these two bins. Such an inconvenient size. Not that I would put scissors in there, but like that's just for reference. I had lipsticks in them, but it was overflowing. So I gave the lipstick one the longer thing. And then the lip liners could fit in there too. Uh, I may have purposefully ignored this earlier. Nice. Now my toilet paper is all in one row. This is what I ignored. Um, guys. I just left my bathroom project sitting for four days. But on the bright side, that is my nail kit. <sighs> so yeah, I ordered the nail kit. I ordered <laughs> I ordered a sewing kit because I need to sew the end of my pants. I ordered a shower curtain and I ordered more large bins. I feel like now is an appropriate time to continue the project. It just couldn't go on without these things. Also, it's September now, so this is my aesthetic, vanilla core. I'll be wearing nothing but beige for the next month. Thank you. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I already started filling this. I just got so excited, I couldn't, how could I not? So I have all these colors in here. I also painted my nails vanilla core. <laughs> In this whole bathroom project, this is what I'm most excited about. This organization of my nail stuff has been the bane of my existence for like three months. There's a perfect space for the light. Yeah. Perfection. I'm trying to figure out what the best way to do all of this is. What do you think of how we're doing this, Harlow? So satisfying put all of the backup files and stuff in here and I have three extra files these are 240 grit because these are natural nails I don't do any acrylics or like gel extension so I just use the 240 grit the fun stuff is on the bottom we have all of the nail polish I think I did gel on top and then regular polish for my toes on the bottom and then these are like base coat top coat I don't really know what I'm doing yet I'm still figuring out how to do my nails Moving on, I got these nail art tools. I haven't used them yet. I have these rhinestones. And then this is a magnet for the cat eye stuff. This is cat eye. So you put it on and then you put the magnet over it and it pulls all of the gold stuff into the center. And then I also have chrome. So yeah, you guys always ask how I do my nails. 
practice, practice, practice. I've been doing them for eight months and we're still not there. Look at that, it looks so good. I'm just realizing though, I forgot to order those things that I was gonna put all of this stuff in. That's okay, cause look at my nail stuff. I got a new lip gloss. This is Too Faced Lip Injection. It's not like new to me, but I got that. I also got this, this is what I also got. Living Proof. Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. The OG dry shampoo that smells so good. Triple Bond Complex. What's that? Dry Volume and Texture Spray. This stuff slaps for like really fine soft hair. And then I'm excited to use this one, Scalp Treatment. It seems to have this little thing on the end that you like. Exciting. Ooh, and then Frizz Vanishing Oil. Love that, but now we have to make more room. So it show you how far I've come. So, top drawer, we have all the the tooth stuff, the mouth stuff, and then deodorant. This is travel fragrances, travel hair stuff, travel skin stuff and makeup. And then these are all like masks in here. This looks like body stuff. We have all my tanning stuff. Some fragrances that I don't really use, to be honest. I do use this one a lot. It's just like, it doesn't look good in my perfume cabinet. And this is my shower filter refill. Tanning stuff, the body body oils. Oh, and shaving stuff randomly. This again is the girl stuff and then toilet paper because you got to put it next to the toilet. This drawer in the middle, top, we're going to do that last. I'm not really sure where to put all of those. This is my hair tools. This blow dryer, by the way, I used it. I'm obsessed. I'll link it. If you're not a Dyson girl, this is going to be your new best friend. Next cabinet. I pretty much emptied this out. Is Doesn't that look great? I have like my bath clay oils, Epsom salts, and this is the bath tray. I think I'm going to put my hair products down here until we figure it out. I'm so happy with my makeup drawers. I don't know why I have shoes on the literal counter. And these clips go right here. Everything has a place now. I'm so into my new makeup setup. It just didn't make much sense before. This is my content drawer. We already went over that and other stuff. I guess you could say I'm pretty much done. This is going to my mom. You can tell I have been taking so long because the box is dirty now. Another thing, I ordered a mirror. This mirror, I like to have it in here because my closet is right here. But look how non-aesthetic this is. Like, are you kidding? I have to call my neighbor to help me put this back up. As far as the bathroom project goes, I think I'm done for now. I wanna put a bunch of artwork. This is so boring. Like, look at this angle. Are you kidding? Did I move in yesterday? If you have any suggestions on what I should do there, let me know. This cat is flicking peanuts. Get it, Harlow. Did you get some peanuts? So I think what I'll do now is just get the bathroom all cleaned up and then hopefully it feels like a finished, clean, organized, amazing project. I do feel kind of proud. Mm -hmm.